Hey everyone, welcome to another video here on White Coats and Corgis. Come get ready with me as I take you through a typical study day of a first year medical student and show you all of my essentials that I would recommend getting before you start your first year of medical school. I typically start out a long day of studying by using my standing desk in its standing position so that way I don't sit for too many hours right off the bat in the beginning of the day. Because I sometimes find myself studying for hours on end in medical school, it was really important to me to find a desk that could be both a standing desk and a regular sitting desk as well. In addition to all this studying, we also have practical skills that we're expected to learn as a medical student, one of which is suturing. And getting a suture practice kit is a great way to practice those skills in a very low pressure environment. Another really important skill you learn in medical school is how to take a history and getting a notebook that already has a template in place can make that way, way easier. And now one of the most important essentials in my video today is my iPad. This is something that I use literally every single day in medical school and it has been a complete game changer for me. I know it's a little bit more expensive and everybody has to figure out what is within their budget, but if you have the ability, I would recommend purchasing an iPad Pro just because it offers a lot more capabilities that are really helpful as a medical student. For example, one of the apps that I use every single day is called Notability, and I am able to use my Apple Pencil to take notes, annotate slides, create my own mixed media type of notes, all in one place, all stored so I know where they are for later use. In addition to making my own note sheets based on the lecture material that is being covered in my classes, I also love to use some third-party resources as well. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Picmonic. I have been using visual mnemonics to memorize the vast amounts of information that my medical school is asking us to remember almost since the beginning of first year, and I honestly wish I had known about it from the very first day. How it works is Picmonic will create these cute little stories and like really memorable characters and situations that are going to help you remember different facts that you're supposed to know for your medical school classes and different exams like the MCAT and USMLE Step 1 and 2. Each video is about two to four minutes in length, and what's really cool is they use the same symbols across different videos to help you connect the dots when there are similarities and differences between the different diseases and pathophysiologies that you are supposed to learn. What's also really nice is that Pygmonic continuously updates their videos, so if there is a change that needs to be made, it will be reflected in the updated videos section. So you can see if there have been any recent changes to videos, so that way you can keep up with the most up-to-date current medical knowledge. And in addition to all these videos that you can access here on the homepage, at the very bottom there's a row of pre-recorded webinars that are also super, super helpful as well. So now I'm going to move us over to the search tab where we can either search for videos directly if you know what topic you're covering in school, for example, or you want to look up a video to see if there's one on a very specific drug or specific disease. But you can also use the browse tool to just look at their content library and choose based on a variety of categories that they already have listed out for you.
And now I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite features of Picmonic. So before you guys probably noticed that I had a first aid book on my desk that I was using to study. And that is one of the absolute staples in my opinion for USMLE step one studying. And because the first aid book is so useful, Picmonic decided to break down their videos by the different pages that are listed in the first aid book. And this is incredibly helpful for students who are trying to stay organized with both their class material and their USMLE step one studying. Okay, so now we're back to the main search tab and I'm going to show you guys how I typically use Picmonic to kind of supplement the material that is being taught in my classes right now as a first year medical student. So right now in class we are studying small cell carcinoma. So I'm going to hit the search bar up here and start typing that in and if Picmonic has a video on it, it's going to pop up right away and as we can see here, they do have one. And now I'll show you guys a little bit of what a Picmonic video looks like and how you can use the different features that they have to offer. So once I finish up all my main studying for the day, which includes going through my lecture slides, watching any relevant Picmonic videos, and then going through all of the relevant pages in first aid, now I will begin to review my Anki cards. And because I usually haven't gotten that much exercise by this point in the day, I love to get on my treadmill and use my Anki remote to click through the different cards instead of having to press the space bar on my computer.